brother. Cool new couch. I know. I know there is all sorts of really cool new content that's about to come out, but when new Harry Potter information is available directly from JK Rowling on Pottermore about wizards in America, I'm sorry, but I just can't help but talk about it. America. A lot of the new information that is posted in the articles is going to tie directly to the new movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So today I am going to talk about everything you need to know about American wizards. <laughs> if I need to call spoilers here, but if you haven't read the articles yet, I will leave a link in the description down below to Pottermore and you can go and check them out. Either way, I would highly recommend going and taking a look at them after this video. The first thing that we're going to learn is that wizards are naturally occurring beings. They don't stem from any particular part of the world or lineage. And wizards were aware of their kind in other parts of the world before non-magic folk even realized there were other parts of the world. Focusing in on America, we learned that even Native Americans had wizards wizards. But interestingly, we learn from the article that they didn't use wands and instead focused on potions, plants, and animals. I love how Rowling included that difference in culture. One of the first things we see Harry do as a wizard is get his wand. And an enormous amount of the seventh book focuses on wands and wand lore. So the fact that there's an entire magical culture that thrived without them is awesome. Moving forward in history, this more natural leaning magical culture didn't make things easy for Europeans traveling to the new world. This meant they had no infrastructure or wand makers or schools. Well, actually, they did start a school called Ilvermorny, which I have to say sounds a lot cooler than Hogwarts. Gross. America! Sorry, we've never had a wizard before. It's so exciting. I'm kind of concerned we're going to ruin wizards. Ben, when has America ever ruined anything? In any case, the lack of formal governance in America meant there weren't really any laws, which led to the scour -er 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 -er. I swear, Rowling, this is like Hermione all over again. Why can't words be easy to say? Did anyone else say Hermione? That's who she was to us for the first three books. The Scourers were kind of like a self-appointed wizarding police, but with no laws to actually enforce. So they may have had good intentions, but people with power and nobody to keep them in check means absolute power. And as always, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Which leads us to the Salem Witch Trials. By the way, I love how she is working actual historical events into the wizarding past, like it's all real, like I just haven't received my Hogwarts letter yet, or well, I guess, sorry, Ilvermorny. I wonder if we'll use owls in America too. I mean, what else could we use? Eagles? Grizzly eagles? I think you see where I'm going with this. Don't disappoint me, Fantastic Beast. Make the grizzly eagle shark real. And the people who know what I'm talking about fill in the people who don't in the towel section. The Scourers became so corrupt that they were actually hunting down their own kind during the Salem Witch Trials, which finally led to a wizarding governing body, the Magical Congress of the United States of America, or Makuza awesome name. America. The Makuza quickly hunted down the Scourers and executed them and or sent them into hiding, where they began to despise the rest of the wizarding world to the point where they were actively trying to breed the magic out of themselves, but continued to teach their descendants that magic was very real and it should be exterminated. To me, the Scourers sound like a big and actually dangerous group of Vernon Dursleys. This means that muggles in America, or as us Americans refer to them as nomadges, man, I really feel like we lost the battle on that phrasing way better overseas. Ireland! Nomadges were harder to fool, which to me means you couldn't get away with driving a magical triple decker purple bus through the streets of New York the same way you could the streets of London. Take that, Europe. Our nomadges are better than your muggles, even if they have a much dumber name. This meant that there was a greater need for separation between magic and non-magic folk in order to maintain secrecy. And all of this came to a head when a girl named Dorcas spilled the beans. But come on, I think we all kind of saw that coming. What kind of name is Dorcas? Can you even blame her? Long story short, Dorcas fell in love with the descendant of a scourer and revealed the locations of Makuza and Ilvermorny. Man, I haven't learned this many new words in a single day since first grade. Said scourer attempted an attack on the wizarding community, and although he failed, he did manage to bring a lot of negative attention to the wizarding world, even handing her wand over to newspapers. This was maybe the most interesting part of the whole article, it said that when the nomadges waved the wand, it 
kicked like a mule, which either means the wand fought its user or cast some kind of painful spell. But either way, my assumption would be that when a nomad waved a wand, it would be about the equivalent of waving a stick. Are they actually able to summon some kind of magic from it? Does this mean I could be a wizard? Seriously, where's my eagle? It's kind of a small detail in the article, but I could totally see it playing into the movie, as in some kind of scourer or nomad gets a hold of a wand and uses it in some way. Dorcas's mishap leads the Makuza to introducing a full-blown segregation between nomad people and the wizarding people, which is going to be the state of America when Newt arrives in the 1920s. It's curious how even though America seems to have kind of sidestepped that whole blood purity issue that Voldemort was so obsessed with, they still found a way to drive a wedge between wizarding and non-magic people. So based on what we know now, my prediction is that Newt is going to be coming from a place Europe, where muggle-wizard relationships are okay, and as a result, he's going to be a little too trusting of the nomad people and end up being Dorcas by a scourer descendant and causing a problem with the Makuza. Yep, that's a real sentence I just said. Also, there will be Fantastic Beasts. I'm personally hoping for a blast-ended screwed and a grizzly eagle shark. America! For my question of the day, are you excited for this movie and what Fantastic Beasts do you hope to see? And if you could create your own Fantastic Beasts, what would it be? Leave it in the towel section down below. Also, great news, there will be another article being dropped on Pottermore tomorrow. And today we have barely scratched the surface of the information you can pull from these articles. So I absolutely recommend you go and check them out. And if you would like more Harry Potter action from us, I made a video a little while back about how Harry really ruined the Dursleys' lives. You can click that right here. But Jay, that is everything that I've got for you today, man. I will see you on Tuesday.